हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर थ्री ऑन रेसिड इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ रियल इंटीग्रल्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डू वन मोर एग्जांपल ऑन इवेल्यूएशन ऑफ इम प्रॉपर इंटीग्रल्स यूजिंग रेसिड थियरम सो वी जस्ट रिकॉल द स्टेप्स ऑफ द मेथड एज वी नो दैट इफ वी हैव दिस टाइप ऑफ इम प्रॉपर इंटीग्रल वेर एफ एक्स इज ए रेशनल फंक्शन that is fx is division of two polynomials say px and qx where this qx is non zero for every x belongs to r and degree of q is strictly greater than 1 plus degree of p then we can apply rsd theorem to evaluate this type of improper integrals so in this uh, example uh, we can see that our function is a rational function here fx is or we consider fx equal to x square divided by x square plus 9 times square of x square plus 4 so here px is x square qx is x square plus 9 times x square plus 4 whole square so it is clear that degree of q is strictly greater than 1 plus degree of p and it is also obvious that this qx x square plus 9 times x square plus 4 whole square will never be zero for any real number because we know that x square is always non negative and we are having plus 9 and plus 4 here so this denominator is non zero for every real number so these two conditions are satisfied so this improper integral is convergent and we can evaluate it using rsd theorem so now first we consider fx equal to given function and to apply rsd theorem uh, we consider the corresponding complex function so uh, we have f of z equal to we replace x by z in f of x so we have z square divided by z square plus 9 times z square plus 4 whole square so here if we compare with p z over q z okay suppose this is this is a rational function which we denote by p z over q z so here q z is z square plus 9 times z square plus 4 whole square now by rsd theorem uh, we have discussed this method in lecture number 1 that if some conditions are satisfied then value of this improper integral is equal to 2 pi i times sum of residues of f of z sum of residues of f of z at poles of f of z in upper half plane upper half plane this improper integral will be equal to 2 pi i times sum of residues of this function f of z at its poles in the upper half plane so first we have to decide that what are the poles of this function f of z among those poles which poles are in the upper half plane then we will calculate residue of f of z at those poles which are in upper half plane and then we will apply this formula now here f of z is a rational function so we know that rational function is not analytic at those points at which this qz becomes zero that is zeros of qz will become poles of f of z so now uh, we find out that what are the zeros of qz or at which points qz becomes zero so qz is zero if z square plus 9 times z square plus 4 whole square is zero so we solve this equation and we find out what are the values of z at which qz becomes zero so from this we have z square plus 4 whole square 
equal to 0. So this we can rewrite as z square equal to minus 9 that we can again rewrite as 9 times i square and uh, here uh, we will have z square plus 4 equal to 0 2 times that we can rewrite as z square equal to minus 4 that is 4 i square. So from this I obtained z equal to plus or minus 3 i and here I will obtain z equal to plus or minus 2 i. So these are the points z equal to plus or minus 3 i and z equal to plus or minus 2 i at which this denominator qz becomes 0 and because f of z is a rational function this z equal to plus or minus 3 i and z equal to plus or minus 2 i are poles of f of z has poles at z equal to 3 i minus 3 i 2 i and minus 2 i. Now we are interested in the poles of f of z in upper half plane. So these two poles minus 3 i and minus 2 i are not in the upper half plane. They are in the lower half plane. So they are not of our interest. Okay. So uh, here z equal to minus 3 i and z equal to minus 2 i are in lower half plane. So which are not of our interest. So we will concentrate on z equal to 3i and z equal to 2i only or we can say that the poles of f of z in upper half plane poles of f of z in upper half plane are z equal to 3i and z equal to 2i only. So the now next step is to calculate residue of f of z at these two poles. So first we try to calculate residue of f of z at z equal to 3i and then we will calculate residue at z equal to 2i. So before that first we write our f of z, f of z is z square over z square plus 9 times z square plus 4 whole square. So f of z is z square over z square plus 9 times z square plus 4 whole square. Now we are interested in the residue at z equal to 3i. So first we decide what is the order of pole at z equal to 3i. For that we write this z square plus 9 as product of these two factors z plus 3i times z minus 3i okay, that we can understand easily z square plus 9 can be rewritten as z square minus minus 9 which is z square minus 9 times i square here we replace minus 1 by i square and using the formula of a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square we have z square plus 9 equal to z minus 3i times z plus 3i and we keep this other quantities as it is okay, because we are interested in the pole at z equal to 3i so we require this factor now we again rewrite this as we keep z minus 3i in the denominator and we write other things in the numerator so we have z square over z plus 3i times z square plus 4 whole square. So this we can denote by we denote numerator as a function of z say phi of z divided by z minus 3i okay, left hand side is f of z where this phi of z is nothing but 
z square divided by z plus 3i times square of z square plus 4. Now this phi of z is also a rational function and it is not analytic at only two points z equal to minus 3i and z equal to plus or minus 2i but it is analytic at z equal to 3i. So phi of z is analytic at z equal to 3i because it is a rational function so it is analytic at every point for which denominator is non-zero. Here if we put z equal to 3i in the denominator we have non-zero value. So phi of z is analytic at z equal to 3i and we have to check what is the value of phi at z equal to 3i. So for that we put z equal to 3i in phi of z. So here we have z square that is 3i square which is 9i square divided by here we put z equal to 3i. So 3i plus 3i that is 6i z square that is 3i square which is 9i square plus 4 whole square. Now i square is minus 1 so we have minus 9 here. We keep 6i as it is. Here we have minus 9. We replace i square by minus 1. So minus 9 plus 4 whole square. And uh, we can cancel out 3 here. So we have minus 3 by 2. We can replace 1 over i by minus i. And this is going to be minus 9 plus 4 minus 5 whole square that is 25. So we have 1 over 25. And uh, this negative negative positive in the numerator we have 3i divided by 5 0. So we can see this is non-zero. So phi of z is analytic at z equal to 3i and value of phi of z at z equal to 3i is non-zero. Therefore we can say that f of z has a simple pole or pole of order 1 at z equal to 3i because we are able to write f of z as f of z equal to phi of z over z minus 3i to the power 1 where phi of z is analytic at z equal to 3i and phi of 3i is non-zero. So therefore f of z has a pole of order 1 or simple pole at z equal to 3i and residue of f of z at z equal to 3i will be equal to value of function phi at z equal to 3i which we have obtained as 3i divided by 50. So this is residue at z equal to 3i which we denote by b1. Similarly we calculate residue at another pole in the upper half plane which is 2i. So next step is calculate residue at z equal to 2i. So now we have to rewrite our function again f of z is z square divided by z square plus 9 square of z square plus 4 whole square. Let me check what is our function again. It is z square over z square plus 9 square of z square plus 4. Now we are interested at z equal to 2i. So again uh, here we will rewrite z square plus 4 as z square minus minus 4 which we can rewrite as z square minus uh, 4i square and this is z minus 2i times z plus 2i. So we replace this z square plus 4 by z minus 2i into z plus 2i and we keep other things as it is. This is z square plus 9 and we replace z square plus 4 by z minus 2i times z plus 2i and we are having square of z square plus 4 
so that is going to be square of these two linear fractions now we are interested at z equal to 2y so we consider this factor in the denominator and we write other things in the numerator so here we write square of z minus 2y and we keep other things in the denominator z square plus 9 times z plus 2i whole square and here we consider z square so we have rewritten our function f of z in this form f of z equal to say phi of z over square of z minus 2i and uh, we uh, write what is phi of z so phi of z in this case becomes z square divided by z square plus 9 times square of z plus 2i and it is obviously analytic at z equal to 2i because it is a rational function and at z equal to 2i this denominator remains non-zero so phi of z is analytic at z equal to 2i and uh, what is value of phi at z equal to 2i so for that we put z equal to 2i here so we have square of 2i which is 4i square here also we have 4i square plus 9 and if we put z equal to 2i here we have 2i plus 2i that is square of 4i so let me check again we are putting z equal to 2i so we have 2i square which is 4i square same thing here 4i square plus 9 and here 2i plus 2i that is 4i whole square now we replace i square by minus 1 so here we have minus 4 here we will have minus 4 plus 9 that we can write directly as 5 here we have 4i whole square that is going to be 16 times i square and i square is minus 1 here 4 will cancel out we have minus minus positive so here we have 1 over 5 into 4 okay, we have considered i square equal to minus 1 so minus 1 into minus 1 or uh, negative negative positive 4 is cancel out here and we have 5 into 4 that is 1 by 20 and it is non-zero so we are interested that whether phi of 2i is non-zero or not so it turns out to be non-zero so here uh, we are we are able to write f of z as phi of z over z minus 2i square where phi of z is analytic at z equal to 2i and value of phi at z equal to 2i is non-zero so therefore we can say that f of z has a pole of order 2 at z equal to 2i so in the next step we write that f of z has a pole of order 2 at z equal to 2i and residue of f of z at z equal to 2i will be equal to value of first derivative of phi at z equal to 2i so now we have to find out first derivative of this function phi at z equal to 2i so now we find out its uh, derivative for that first we write phi of z which is z square over z square plus 9 times z plus 2i whole square let me check again z square over z square plus 9 square of z plus 2i so we can directly apply division rule to find out derivative okay, we know that first we have to take square of denominator so we take square of both the factors z square plus 9 whole square and uh, square of z plus 2i square which is going to be 4 now we keep denominator as it is that is z square plus 9 times z plus 2i square as it is into derivative of z square 
which is 2z minus now we keep z square as it is into derivative of this denominator so here we have to apply product rule first we keep z square plus 9 as it is and we take derivative of z plus 2i square which is 2 times z plus 2i into derivative of z which is 1 now we keep z plus 2i square as it is and derivative of z square plus 9 is 2z plus 0 so we write 2z now if we observe here uh, we can cancel out z plus 2i only okay, here we have square of z plus 2i here we have z plus 2i here we have square of z plus 2i so we can cancel out z plus 2i so phi dash z we rewrite phi dash z by cancelling one linear factor z plus 2i so first we write here so one factor will cancel out so we have z plus 2i to the power 3 here also we cancel 1 z plus 2i here we have square of z plus 2i so we will be having z plus 2i after cancellation we keep other things as it is same thing here here this will cancel out and we are left with 2 times z square plus 9 plus here also we have z plus 2i into 2z or we can rewrite as 2z times z plus 2i now we need not simplify all these brackets we, we are interested in the value of phi dash at z equal to 2i so we can directly put z equal to 2i in phi dash so now we put z equal to 2i in phi dash first we put here so if we put z equal to 2i we have 4i square square of 2i which is 4i square plus 9 whole square z equal to 2i so 2i plus 2i 4i to the power 3 same thing here z equal to 2i so z square is 4i square plus 9 z equal to 2i plus 2i which is 4i 2 into 2i which is also 4i minus z equal to 2i which is 4i square and here 2 times z equal to 2i so z square is 4i square plus 9 plus 2 into 2i which is 4i into 2i plus 2i which is again 4i ok fine so now we uh, replace i square by minus 1 so here if we put i square equal to minus 1 we have 9 minus 4 which is 5 if we multiply these two we have 4 into 4 16 into i square and i square is minus 1 so we directly write minus 16 4 into 4 16 i square is minus 1 here we will have i square equal to minus 1 so negative negative positive so we directly write 4 here uh, we keep 2 as it is here if we put i square equal to minus 1 we have 2 into 9 minus 4 which is 5 here we have 4 into 4 16 into i square and i square is minus 1 so we have minus 16 same thing here i square is minus 1 9 uh, 9 minus 4 is 5 and 5 square is 25 and here uh, we have 4 raised to 3 that is 64 and i cube that we can rewrite as i square into i okay, so these are simple calculations but we have to be careful here we have minus 16 into 5 that is 80 plus 4 here we have 10 minus 16 which is minus 6 and uh, we keep all these things here as it is 64 uh, we replace i square by minus 1 and we keep i as it is so here we can simplify this is going to be minus 24 
here uh, we have minus we keep 2564 as it is okay so this is now here we can cancel out negative sign and 80 plus uh, 24 is going to be 104 and here we have 2564 and uh, 1 over i okay fine now uh, we can cancel out uh, 4 from 104 and 64 okay so we know that if we multiply 26 by 4 we have 104 so we can cancel out 1 4 here and here 16 into 4 so we have 26 divided by 25 into 16 and we can replace 1 over i by minus i again we can cancel out 2 here here we have 13 here we have 8 so we have minus 13 i divided by 25 into 8 and 25 into 8 is 200 so we have minus 13 i divided by 200 so this is value of 5 dash at z equal to 2i so now uh, we can have a residue of f of z at z equal to 2i which is equal to 5 dash 2i and we have calculated 5 dash 2i so therefore residue of f of z at z equal to 2i is minus 13i divided by 200 which we denote by b suffix 2. So we have obtained residue of f of z at both the poles in the upper half plane. So now uh, we can apply the formula uh, we can write that by residue theorem uh, minus infinity to infinity fx dx equal to 2 pi i times sum of residues of f of z at poles in the upper half plane which we have denoted by b1 and b2 so this is equal to 2 pi i times our b1 was b1 means residue at z equal to 3i so that we have obtained as 3i over 50 so we substitute b1 and b2 here b1 is 3i over 50 and b2 is minus 13i over 200 so now uh, this we can simplify we can take i common so we have 2 pi i into i square 2 pi i and we take this i common so we have i square here this is 3 over 5 0 minus 13 over 200 so this we can simplify by taking lcm and here we put i square equal to minus 1 lcm is 200 so here i have to multiply with 4 so i have 12 minus 13 and i can cancel out this 2 also I have minus 1 12 minus 13 is minus 1 and here I have 100 and I will not forget this pi also so negative negative positive and I have pi divided by 100 so therefore minus infinity to infinity fx dx has value pi over 100 now I am asked to find out 0 to infinity fx dx and uh, we can observe that our function fx is e1 function here we can observe that if we replace x by minus x in fx then function will never change f of minus x is equal to fx for every x therefore this function is even function so therefore uh, we can write that minus infinity to infinity fx is going to be 2 times 0 to infinity fx dx therefore 2 times 0 to infinity fx dx is equal to pi over 100 reason is because fx is even function 
सो देर फॉर जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एफ एक्स डी एक्स इज गोइंग टू बी पाई ओवर टू हंड्रेड एंड वी कैन राइट वॉट इज अवर एफ एक्स अवर एफ एक्स वॉज एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स एंड हियर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर होल स्क्वायर सो यूजिंग कोसिस रेसिड थियरम वी आर एबल टू फाइंड आउट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इम प्रॉपर इंटीग्रल विच इज पाई ओवर टू हंड्रेड ओके सो हियर इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी हैव टू डू सम मोर कैलकुलेशन बिकॉज वी रिक्वायर्ड दिस फर्स्ट डेरीवेटिव इन द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ रेसिड एट जेड इक्वल टू थ्री आई अदरवाइज मैथड इज ईजी वॉट वी हैव टू रिमेंबर इज फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट पोल्स ऑफ एफ ऑफ जेड विच आर नथिंग बट zeros of this qz and then we have to calculate residue of f of z at those poles which are in upper half plane so this is all about this uh, lecture i hope you like it thank you very much